So your shout outs for this video goes to Falco Flare and Thrill National. If you want a shout out in our next video then please comment down below and let's get into this Curse Child video. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child Donkster Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a video where today we'll be sharing some more merchandise. Uh, it's that time again, I've got five more pieces of merchandise to share with you guys and I've also got your merchandise that you've been sending in over the past couple of weeks. Uh, so the, the landlines are now open to sending your merchandise for the next part, part three. Uh, in a couple of weeks time again so two weeks time from today uh, where you guys get to send in your merchandise and uh, yeah for those of you who have sent it in it will be in this video and uh, before we get started here is how you guys can interact with the channel if you've loved this video make sure you hit the like button below make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic and also make sure you subscribe to coach child youtube channel for more and click the notification bell so you never miss a youtube video please share the channel with your friends your family and our social media Media. and make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos and also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat the links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A also guys make Make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Child merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So that's how you can interact with the channel. All the details are in the description down below and if you scroll back in the video, you'll see it for yourself. Let's get into this video and let's start off with the people that sent in their own merchandise for this video. So massive shout out to Joey from Manchester who has got a Valhalla shield and some more merch from Valhalla. So a big shout out to you for your merchandise. Thank you very much for sending it in. Very lovely. Next up is Jason from Warrington who sent in an Icon t-shirt and sweatshirt again from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Very nice designs indeed and thank you very much for sending them in. Next up Jacob from Staffordshire sent in some Wild West shootout signage from Drayton Manor Theme Park in Tamworth. So massive shout out to Jacob and thank you very much for sending it in. Massive shout out to Liam from Pickering who sent in an Oblivion bottle opener, more Alton Towers mugs, an Icon large magnet an Alton Towers keychain, a Snowden Mountain Railway magnet, and an Air Magnetic Pen, which is all scrolling about on your screen. So thank you very much to Liam, and we're glad you're enjoying the videos. And finally, Sam from London, who sent in some pin badges from Crusher's Coaster at Disneyland Resort Paris in the Walt Disney Studios Park, Toy Story Mania at Walt Disney World Holiday Studios, Splash Mountain at Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom and of course Test Track at Walt Disney World at Epcot. Thank you all for sending in your wonderful merchandise and let's share five pieces of my own merchandise for this video. So a big thank you once again to every single person that sent in merchandise for this video and like I said the landlines are open so you can send in your merchandise on Instagram or Snapchat with your name and location Links in the description down below, and of course they will be used in a couple of weeks. But now let's share five pieces of merchandise that I've got. So, we're going to start off with uh, maps, leaflets and books before we get into two larger theming items. So, let's start with this. So this is a uh, flip book from Lightwater Valley. So this, is, so this all opens up, like so. And uh, <laughs> the weird thing is, it's very hard to close them back up again. Uh, but, um, yeah, basically this is from Lightwater Valley. And basically, this is from 2000 and... If I can find the year... I'm trying to find the year. Uh, new for 2017. So it's 2017. And, um, yeah, this... <laughs> I, weird thing is, I could fold this up before... Uh, <laughs> but I might fold it up later but that is what it's like opened up fully uh, while well, I've got it like that and then I'll turn it around so you get the format and I'll be nosy and uh, yeah it's very nice to get the, the full 
my opening up of it. So um, it's very nice to open it all up and see it all. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yes. <laughs> I can I can fold down a book. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is a flip book from Lightwater Valley uh, with the full map, the events on show for the year, which of course was 2017. Oh, <laughs> nearly dropped it then. And um, yeah, and of course it's got the the ultimate adventure branding on the front and the back and you know inside the whole thing. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to show is something here. This is from 2018, uh, and this is the. 50th anniversary of the children's theme park Sundown Adventureland in Nottinghamshire. Uh, so this is a theme park designed for the under 10s, um, but I managed to pick this up um, in a railway station, this specific um, flip booklet. Uh, so you've got loads of different attractions, you've got an Angry Birds acti activity park, you've got Sundown Market, uh, you've got loads of kids rides. Uh, and looking at the back, we got the Monkey Mayhem Driving School, which opened in May 2018. That was their new attraction for the year. Um, so, you know, it has all the different um, sort of opening times and days that they're open. They've got a special, like, colour key for specific days they're open and for what reason and what times they're open for. Uh, so, obviously, the Monkey Mayhem Driving School is, you know, it's right near to the Angry Birds Activity Park. Uh, or the Angry Birds Play Area, shall we say. Um, you know, looking at the map, you can see it's... If I can get it closer in, see where it is. Um, we see up here... You can see it's quite close. It's like adjacent to the Angry Birds play area. So there we go. So that is the Sundown Adventureland book. Um, so again, that's a really nice piece of merchandise to have. I may not have been to the park myself yet. Well, personally, not yet. But you know, it's nice to get those kind of merchandise from the railway station, and it's nice to pick up these little booklets here and there. Uh, and speaking of historic booklets, let's have a look at this third and final one for the books, maps and leaflets for this uh, episode. And it's this. This is from the 1999 American Adventure Park Guide. So um, this is through the Sky Coaster, Nightmare Niagara, the Flying Island, the Shows, the Missile, um, the Runaway Train, of course, the Buffalo Stampede. Uh, loads of great coasters and attractions at this American Adventure in 1999. Um, so it's got the the different areas of the of the uh, thing as well. You got the Twin Looper uh, before it went into its JCB theme uh, when JCB World came in a few years down the line. Uh, you got things like the Neptune Theatre, the Yankee Clipper, which is the pirate ship attraction. Uh, you got the Rocky Mountain Rapids as well as Fort St. Lawrence, which looked like a classic attraction. Uh, I never got the chance to do American Adventure, but I did look like the look of the park from classic footage and images from the theme park. So uh, that's been transformed into Shipley Lakeside, I think it's called. Shipley Lakeside. Uh, and I think there's a website for it as well, so uh, you can see what's happening with that project. I don't know what's happening with that at the minute. Like, I've heard some rumblings about construction going on but again i'm not sure where it is i know construction works obviously halted because of this pandemic but i don't know where they were before the pandemic hit the uk and stopped construction work and everything like that so comment down below if you know what's happening with the american event site at the minute so last i heard it was this lakeside project but anyway it's still a nice piece of merchandise to have uh, as you can see up there all the different attractions you've got the roy train uh things like the rocky mountain rapids uh, nightmare niagara the missile the buffalo stampede uh, that's now at Twin Lakes, if you didn't know already. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you've got a whole host of shows. So this was one of the first themed parks. And of course, if you don't know your history on this theme park, basically, uh, if you didn't know already, it first opened in its first year as Britannia Park. And then they got some people in from Granada Studios. Like someone from Granada Studios came in and sort of transformed it into the American Adventure after Britannia Park didn't really uh, succeed when it opened um, first. Uh, on the old Shipley mine site um, with the Shipley Lake around it. So, very, very unique history. I kind of wish there was a new theme park on the site instead of the Lakeside Development and put that somewhere else, but you can't help it, can you? Uh, so, there we go. So, that is my books, maps, and leaflets for this video. And now let's get into our two final pieces of merchandise, which is our massive, large ornaments and resins. Don't, Don't look down. down. Can you see me? <laughs> 
So this is my Oblivion, uh, or I'll call it an ornament. Um, can't can't see the price on here, uh, but it does it does say um, Merlin Entertainment's Group 2014. So it was quite a while ago I bought this. Um, so you see the the start of the drop uh, going down the thing, and uh, you got this nice uh, confetti bubble, shall we say? Um, to give us the black and orange colour scheme that we love today on this coaster. Of course, Oblivion, Bulgar and Mambiard Dive Coaster, opened in 1998 at the Alton Towers Resort. Um, and again, just a really lovely attraction, and it's nice to get this to remember my time on this ride. And the next final resin, the final piece of merchandise today, again, it's from Alton Towers, and it's a resin, and it's this. This is from Hex. So Hex, if you didn't know already, it is a Vacoma Madhouse, a dart ride that opened in the Towers Ruins, or a little building behind the Towers Ruins, for anything specific, uh, in the year 2000 at the Alton Towers Resort. Uh, so this was, before Hex came in, this was like a, a gift shop inside the, the, the big doors of the Towers. Like, there wasn't like a dart ride system at the back in this green crate, should we say. Um... Before Hex came in, literally, they only used the front entrance of the towers and where the queue line is for Hex now, as well as the the, the thing before the first pre-show scene, uh, when you're going in to get the batches and stuff like that. That whole first section used to be a gift shop, and there was nothing else in the towers. Um, and then when Hex came in, they removed the gift shop stuff, and they brought in Hex. And of course, it went through that massive refurbishment due to the Towers Living Care program, and uh, I'll show you it in closer detail. There you go, so you can see the front entrance to Hex, and uh, you've got the nice back as well. You could see the, the little banners as well, and uh, it's got Hex on the bottom, Towers Turrets on the top, and it's got some nice vines around the back and both sides. So, again, very nice piece of merchandise. Uh, but for now, guys, there we go. So that is my part two of sharing my merchandise. Uh, obviously, I'll pick five more items in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, but if you guys uh, have got any merchandise that you want to send in, then feel free to send it in. Just just send it in. Instagram and Snapchat. Links in the description down below. We've got loads of new content coming very, very soon on the channel. All of them are exciting, whether it's theme park news updates, reviews, fact files, interviews, um videos that mixes TV shows or popular YouTube trends with theme parks. <laughs> you know what my creativity is like. If I can do a Alton Towers themed FIFA Ultimate Team pack opening and a video combining Strictly Come Dancing and theme parks, then you know I can do anything. Uh, and of course, don't forget tomorrow. Tomorrow, my twin brother, Mr. Sirius, will be reacting to theme park commercials that are funny, weird or cringe. I saw him today uh, on his doorstep. I got to see him in isolation and uh, he is doing fine. So thank you very much guys for watching this theme park uh, video, uh, sharing my merchandise. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks for another one of these but for now guys make sure you like, comment, subscribe and for now guys my name is Coast Chow, Kit on the Coast Life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care guys. I'm awesome.